Local investment that may well total more than $15 million is aimed at repairing and restoring oyster beds up and down the Texas Gulf Coast by the year 2025. Yeah, that's right. Research shows that Texas has lost 90%, 90% of its oyster beds to overfarming, pollution, and other factors. Our Brian Burns joins us live in studio tonight to tell us more about the program. Brian, what can you tell us? Well, Rudy, the program is being funded by a grant from the Edward Shell Foundation and is called the Palacious Marine Agriculture Research Nonprofit. And according to scientists at the Heart Research Institute, it's a program that should have been started decades ago. People are going to say, we should have been doing this the whole time. And that's when you're going to see this industry really just explode. Chappie Chapman is the project manager for the Oyster Resource and Recovery Center at the Heart Research Institute for Gulf of Mexico Studies. He's talking about the Palacios Marine Agriculture Program, whose mission is to grow and distribute 15 billion oyster larvae to bays and shorelines up and down the Texas coast. And the best part about it, though, is as this industry takes off, you're going to see our public reefs come back. Chapman is referring to not only oyster beds, which have been reduced over the last hundred years by 90 percent, but the health of fish and all marine life, quality of the water, and even healthier beaches up and down the coast. That's what our 15 billion will do. Oysters, if you give them a chance, will recover naturally in many places, but we need to move that along more quickly. We don't want them to restore, be able to have to restore over five or ten years. We would like to see the reefs restored in a couple of years. Dr. Larry McKinney, the Director of Research and Science for the Palacios Marine Agriculture Research, says towards that end an oyster hatchery is being built right now in Palacios, Texas, which is halfway to Galveston. Also, a major research lab will be built here in Corpus Christi to study the best way to use expanded oyster beds to clean and improve bays and estuaries. A typical oyster can filter uh, 50 gallons of water every day and remove any kind of uh, E. coli and other materials out of it. So it acts as a natural water treatment plant. This program could make the Texas coast one of the leading suppliers of oysters in the nation. I think there's just nothing but positive growth for everybody. I think it's a win for Texas, I think it's a win for the consumer, and it's a win for local economies. Now, the Heart Institute plans training and a summer internship program to teach people how to create their own oyster farms to be part of a potential $80 billion industry. Rudy, Leslie? Yeah, not a bad.